Previously on Solar Balls, a man tells his son a sweet bedtime story about the chaotic and violent origin of our universe, the Big Bang, and how billions of years after the creation of everything, our star was born in this scary and unpredictable landscape. Hey, family! Phew, had a crazy day at work today. My jet shut down for a second and I had to... Have you been waiting all day for me to continue talking about the origin of the universe? Honey, you left us on such a cliffhanger. Kind of cruel of you. So, yes, we've been waiting. All right, all right. So, where were we? Ah, yes. So there it was. Our sun. And as I told you last night, despite being massive by our standards, it was just a lonely little star in an ever-expanding, chaotic universe. <laughs> Hello? Hello? I can't hear you! Please, can you... Can you come closer to me? What? No! 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 I... I... I I'm sorry! O okay, I, I'll stay put. Sorry, little rocks. I'm sorry! I can't go with you! Maybe... Maybe one day I'll be able to... hang out with the other stars. But now... you can be my friends, right? The universe came from an explosion. An explosion that began an expansion in every direction. This meant that most stars, most galaxies, most of everything was drifting away from each other. Our sun was alone, and every passing second it was further away from the closest star. That's so sad, honey. Well, we're talking about 4.6 billion years ago, honey. Things were different. Even something like life was unthinkable in these conditions. But things would begin to change. Planets? Are we going to see planets? Yes, we finally reached the planets. Yes! Hello? Wait, you're... You're a planet! I-I-I have a planet? Uh, who... who am I? You're a planet! My first planet ever! You were born from the stuff that I-I came from! Uh, oh! Uh, sorry. No, don't be! I in fact, you could even be a star! You're mostly made of hydrogen and, and helium, like me! But I'm too little. You're too big. I, I know, I know, but, but that's okay. You don't need to be a star. My first planet. It looks scary out there. Yeah, I, I know. Hey, when you're afraid of the dark, just look at me. And who do you look at when you are afraid? Don't worry. I'm the sun. I'll be okay. Jupiter was the first planet, followed closely by Saturn. It didn't have its famous rings just yet. But a lot of these planets didn't last long. Orbits were messy, and a lot of planets crossed paths with each other. So sooner or later, many planets just... No! 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 This again! I... Why is this... Why do they keep... Son, is there anything I can do no. to... No! Stay there! Stay in your orbit! Please! No more! Oh, okay. The solar system required some stability before something like the Earth could even be possible. It's honestly a miracle any of us here are alive today. Yes, I see that now. Poor sun. Honey, it's a story. The sun is not really alive. Yeah, but what if it was? That would be such a plot twist. If it was, I'd feel bad for it. Because the next couple millions of years were not easy. Hey! Wanna be friends? Uh, sure, mate. What's your name? Neptune. And you? Unfortunately, um, <clears throat> Uranus. Oh, I don't see anything wrong with that. Hey, let's go play. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, hey, uh, you're Saturn, right? Y yes and you are? Oh, uh, I don't have a name. 
I like to go by the name of X. Or Planet X. <laughs> well, nice to meet you, X. Hey, Saturn. Who's that you're talking to? This ice giant I've never met. He calls himself Planet X. Hey there, you must be Jupiter. Nice to meet. Cool, cool. Well, anyway, Saturn, uh, what are you doing like- Jupiter! Yes, son? Just try not to go too far from your orbit, okay? Some of the rocky planets are still being formed and, you know, you're a big ball of gravity! Listen, I, I know it may be a bit too late to change orbits, but my friend is at the other side of the belt. Uh, can I- Jupiter, no! We've talked about this! But I used to be able to change orbits freely. Now I'm just stuck here. I'm not having it! Come on, you're the biggest planet! Be a good example to all the others! I... Uh, we can talk later, Jupiter. Ugh, he's gotten all paranoid. Like he doesn't have enough planets already. Maybe he's aiming to have a planet that can sustain life. Then he's insane. Come on, that's not possible. Gas giants like us can't sustain life, and rocky planets are so feeble. Well, you gotta give him props for trying, though. Who are you again? Yeah, who's that planet again? Oh, that's Planet X. It's a hypothetical ice giant. How come I've never heard of it? Well, this part of the story deals with a few theories regarding the formation of the solar system as we know it today. One is the Grand Tack, and the other is the existence of a fifth giant, Planet X. I... I told you. I'm Planet X. Well, Planet X, you're being incredibly annoying. Yeah, sorry, but you're being kinda rude. I'm being rude? Seriously? <laughs> Give me a break. The sun is distracted. So? I can do this. I can cross to your side. Great idea! Okay, hurry before he- Guys, no! Stop! Jupiter, you can't do this! Wait, look out! Wait, no, no, no! No, sorry, it, it's not my- Have I done? And that's how Jupiter changed orbits to where he is now and caused the destruction of several rocky planets. This was the Grand Tag of Jupiter. <laughs> to be continued. Bye! Hey, big guy. Don't tell me you didn't know about solar cards. Solar cards? Indeed! There are hundreds of cards to collect, including moons, planets, dwarf planets, and more. Nice. Where can we get this game? Well, we're running a Kickstarter campaign which will only last 30 days in which our backers can get not only the game, but awesome rewards! In fact, I wanna play too! Wait, oh, so- no, 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 no.